and then its action upon you, uh, which is going to uh, strike at you uh, in terms of trying to yank you back into the situation that you were in, um, that will be expressed as damage. Um, and that is going to be coming. Uh, Can I parry it? No, this is not. It's not striking with a sword. This is more of a metaphysical attack. Okay. And uh, as, as it tries to drag you back into the, oops, into the ideal. Um, and this is going to hurt quite a lot. It's going to do seven points of seven hit points to you. And that's not oh. going to come off of any location. It's going to come off your total only. Okay, so I have uh, 12. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's basically it has drained you. Some of your life has been drained. You are less real than you were before. And that's exactly what you look like to everybody. So um, now, uh, what do, do we see? Um, this is all very akin to right now. Oh, wait. And Urko, I forgot about you. What were you doing again? Put the binding on him, and now I want to uh, hit him with my axe. Okay, so that's, that's just the perfect moment. Um, so Akindu has gone invisible. And what do you want to do next, Akindu, so I know when you come in next? Oh, I want to uh, get over to uh, Zort, because uh -huh. I saw the, how he just... Yeah. Killed the other guy almost. So. Oh, they shattered his sword and his. Yeah, it was pretty spectacular. Yeah, so I right. want to go over there. Right. I, good plan. Good plan. So, Urko, you are all set. Tell me what you are going to do with your, uh, with your, your against your bound opponent. Are you going to leave him there? Or are you going to do something to him? Me? Yeah. Um. Well, uh, if I, since I'm still struck, I, w I will hit him. Okay. Um, Sixty-one. Um, and wh how good are you with your axe? Uh, sixty. Oh, okay. Mm. So, um, the let's see. So. With a successful parry, that axe will take four points of damage. Um, and so if you miss, but their parry succeeds, then your weapon takes damage. That's how it works. So uh, so basically, again, you are fighting yourself, and so they are using moves that you are familiar with in all of this. So you two are still hacking and slashing away. Um, Fast question. Yeah. When it's bound, can it really parry? Um, yes, because uh, binding applies to movement, not to activity. That's why it was able to throw or things like that. Yeah, you you've locked it in place, but they can still still do things. Um, so whereas the one fighting Zord can move around all at once, but it has no idea what to do. Right. So that tells us that Zord actually is next. What do you do? I'm gonna try and finish this. Okay. Unachievable form. This should not be very hard to hit. Basically, Hopefully not. As long as you don't fumble, you will hit it. 48, so that's a hit. Excellent. Uh, and besides, that's under your chance to hit. Uh, well, wait. No, you've already checked it. Never mind. So, roll hit location. Two, so that's a leg. Okay. Left and, leg. Yes, and roll. Dice and oh, that is another 12. I like Nate's happy noises. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah, so 12 minus the four armor that it has is still eight points, which is enough to sever the leg completely and send it spinning to the Oop. ground. Uh, All right. Let me tell you what you experience. You are probably not going. You are not going to be able to remember this, but you will experience the entirety of Zort's life from his birth to his death very rapidly. You will 
feel the dissolution, the destruction of Zort through the passage of time. That's intense. Because that's the only Zort that is left, the one that will die and disappear. And no matter how long people remember him, no longer, no matter how much they loved him or anything like that, it will be gone sometime. And you just destroyed any hope or ideal in reality that is any different. Oh. So you 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 return to reality, and I assume you kind of hit hit the dirt for a moment. Yeah. Right. That's what I do. I still. I mean, I saw a kinder for some moments. Yes. Uh -huh. Do I still see him? Yeah, you and see kinder in the state that I described, hovering in there in the air, all half translucent and clearly in some kind of. You, you understand what is going on. I think that your experiences at this point are very clear. Clearly, he is in the same state that you were a moment ago. He All right. Fighting, he must be fighting another, you know, the, the real Akindu. Right. So, um, excellent. So then uh, we have... Ah, that was fun. Um, then we have... Uh, it can do himself. And so you, mm -hmm. I see kind of Zort poofs away. As a matter of fact, he is still completely visible to you. His relative position is the same, but he has no opponent. Okay. Can I speak with him? Yes. Uh, well, uh, I'll try to say uh, that's the uh, point, or I'm invisible, so I guess I'm just going to speak with you and say, uh, look over there, uh, that's the idealized Akindu. Uh, couldn't you help me in this battle? Right, so you are standing there in reality, and you are seeing Akindu kind of floating there. Now, remember, invisibility doesn't work when you draw someone's attention to you. So the invisibility oh. to your opponent is still there, but it's not there to Zork. Okay. Okay. Don't think of in, don't think of invisibility like in the Lord of the Rings, where it literally makes you transparent. But yeah. think of it instead as magically affecting everyone's attention. Okay. Right. That's how this spell is described in the book. So if all, all you have to do is just draw someone's attention to you, and the spell isn't working on them for that time. So, okay. Um, so it's very easy. So Zork, you see a Kindu turn and lock eyes with you and basically say, "Help me." All right. Time to continue dealing with this okay. from now on now, forward. You don't really see an opponent there. So there's. But no I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. At some point, the opponent must try and get to a Kindu. So I'm thinking of staying guard by him. Do you want to grab him or anything like that? He is kind of half in and half out of reality. I'm thinking of just taking my place very close to him mm -hmm. and be ready for, for whenever Ikindi seems to be struggling with something to turn the attention of my Romfia to where his attention of struggle is. So he's, you know... Okay, okay. So, a Kindu. Um, okay, so I know when you will do that. So that's going to be one, two, four, five, six. Eight, nine. Okay, you will be coming in next. Here, here, and Urko, it is your turn. Yes. Um, I will uh, use another bell magic. And use Dole Blade on uh, Ooh. my enemy. So this is the Blade Sharp? Pardon? What is the spell? Uh, Dole Blade, a weakened en enemy weapon. Oh, I see. Oh, Dole Blade. Yes, go right ahead. Yes. Uh huh. So spend, that's actually not a problem. Go ahead and uh, uh, spend the power. 
And, yes. Uh, and that will. And then now that his he's uh, trapped in place and his blade is weakened, what do you want to do after that? I'm gonna hit him. There's not much else to do. I I, I had guessed that, and I just wrote you down in the strike rank where that would occur. So, <laughs> okay, um, and so Akindu, you are next. What do you do? Oh, uh, am I really far away from the the idolized Akindu? No, no, you are actually not very far away at all. You are well. You went over to Zort, is what you did. But you see, the yeah. two spaces are very different. Okay. Right. You these two physical spaces don't operate the same way. By Zort has come to you. You have gone to Zort. It is now basically charging at you. So and Zort has come up and has, I believe, said, Zort, did you tell him, you know, I am with you, I will help you, something like that? Yeah, I'm giving I'm giving him that's it's time to right. use this blade. So Zort is standing right next to you. You know, looking quite ferocious, and is is in a in a sort of buddy, fellow okay. partner, you know, manly bonding, kill a guy kind of way. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I'll point and I say when. When I say when. Okay. Uh, so, got it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so good and then, enough. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah uh, can I ready something else? Can I ready a weapon or the hand or? Yeah, absolutely. You can get your sword ready. That's fine. Um, and then uh, that takes you that long. Oh. Zort, it is. I, Zort. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Akindu. What? Yeah, I, I had. I have you the my um... your sword. Yes, but right. uh, I also have the hand. So uh, right. if I could try to uh, kind of smear the sword with uh, this infected hand. Now we are talking. Okay, yes, you, you prepare your sword with this thing, and that yes. will be coming in here. Zort, go first. I cannot see the other Kinder, can I? Yes, you can now. He has directed oh, your attention. You see? By getting next to him and then acknowledging and communicating, you're able to work together. Oh. I'm meeting the one. I know. I know. Yes. By working with the re the Yorikin, right. you're able to see the way he is seeing. Great. You are That's... half in and half out, but voluntarily. So, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll. Ninety-nine. Oh no! Well, well. Hold on, just a moment. The hundred. <laughs> roll. Per roll percentage dice, my fumbling friend. Again. All right. Oh, is that a fumble? Yep. Sixty-nine. Your vision is impaired. Something has has uh, has blinded you or confused you, and I think maybe what is happening to add a little bit of content uh, is that um, now that you have kind of truly embraced your your chaos and your real life and things like that, it's very difficult to re-enter. The, the ideal realm is really strange. And so you lose half of your attack and half of your parry. Um, and I need to look again at how long that lasts, but I know it lasts a little while. I will have to All quickly, right. quickly check that. There it is. Right. So you will have to fix it. And just so we know, it will take you five round so about a minute of clearing your mind so basically you are not able to fight unless you want to be half effective half of your percentages so that has you have that was very brave and very bold of you but you weren't very effective akindu you are immediately uh you are zort seems to be having a little difficulty orienting so it is time for you to strike with your sword 
or sorry, not with your sword. It's time for you to, you prepared your sword. Now you strike with it. Okay. Uh, 37. Fantastic. So I, yes. Roll your uh, hit location. Uh, yes, hit location. That's a regular D20. Uh, 15. Excellent. So uh, that is also one of the arms, I believe. But what I want you to know is that since you have imbued your sword with this chaos, uh, it doesn't matter what damage you do. You are going, this whole thing will be completely annihilated. 